Hello everyone, Vendor is here and the time has come. This is the release of the Old World beta campaign for SFO Grim Hammer 3. Wow, many months of work, tons of changes and not all changes still in the beta, so keep that in mind. And in this video, I will be showing you some of the things that I like to show, <laughs> the major things that I think you will most be pleased with the changes. And then at the moment of releasing this video, the SFO uh, Old World campaign beta is up on Steam on the main page, uh, uh, along with the change log that is in this uh, video description that also will be on the mod page. So let's hope into those one of those most important stuff <laughs> that we can talk about factions that are going to be in the beta because the f this update it won't be containing all the factions and <laughs> those factions are like Empire, Dwarves, Bretonia, Beastmen, Greenskin all of those will be done. The factions that are not done in the beta and you will see the notification about it it are the High Elves, Dark Elves, Tomb Kings, Vampire Coast and the Lizardmen. When clicking on those factions you will see the notification this faction is not ready to be played. Keep in note you can still try to play them but they are barely touched besides the battle they are vanilla state right now so that can be a problem of course. With some of the cooler changes going to the uh, Warhammer 3 factions because they were also changed a bit. Mostly they had updates with the Land of Wealth, so the previous update of SFO3, but we added some new stuff. For example, Scarbrand have a new ability for Exalted Bloodthirsters and Bloodthirsters that increases dam damage but lowers physical resistance of his armies. We have uh, Slanesh ones that when all units are on rank 7 they get a new ability that is get, get got some bonuses. <laughs> We have also the Nurgle one, uh, Great Unclean ones and the Exalted Great Unclean ones now uh, summon uh, Nurglings when they are farting in melee uh, for free. Zinch one, uh, Kairos is uh, making that all his characters uh, removes enemies' uh, contact effects around them. So very cool also. Uh, we're going to Kislev. And Katarina now makes that elemental beers uh, hel uh, regenerate health by itself. Boris is having an army ability when not on his own territory, so uh, helps him conquer better. We have Constantine that got upkeep reduction for Cossars. Ah, cool, we have more. We have Grand Cathay, so... Uh, Miao Ink. Yeah, she now increased uh, accuracy for all her units. Zhao Ming uh, lowers the cooldown for all roll of metal spells, things like that. There is really tons of those and everything is pointed in the changelog. We also have tons of changes to the factions itself uh, when you compare them to Warhammer uh, SFO 2. Uh, so Empire got changes, they do not have Imperial de Decrees now, they have Imperial Adjutants. We have Vampire Cones uh, that have uh, rights now, all the factions has rights. Ooh, there is really a lot of those. <laughs> Woodles got total reward. Their Woodles are entirely different in, in compared to Warhammer uh, SFO2 <laughs> mod. Many changes to them, like uh, Sisters got a new ability for all the characters. Uh, Raicha, yeah, she also has some new stuff, but I won't spoil it. There is really a lot of those. We also have an, a lot of new uh, looks for the units, thanks to uh, other models like the Laguna, Sol, Sec, Flamboy. There's really a lot of new adjustments and visuals to the factions that are going to be released right now. Okay, I will show the, you this a glimpse of the units and then we'll be talking about a full release. So when the full release of the mod will go up, and I'll get, have a small teaser for you of my upcoming game. We have new Corn Gorn models, very nice models with the animations. We have Slangors with very nice headgear. We have Dangors also. 
and pasty cars and many many units received such nice additions but the thing that I like the most is the entire new models for state troops of the empire and many empire units received new models and they are looking very very nice in my opinion yeah so that will be in terms of what you can expect with this update again this update is going to be released right now after this video with uh, on the mod page the main mod page and you can just start playing all the, word, uh, uh, the old world beta you will see the <laughs> notification here and what is most important the full release of the mod the full release with all the factions all the features because there is a lot of features that are missing like sfo characters items battles changes uh, new events things like that are still being done the full release of the mod is to be scheduled on january next year so two months from now full mod release with tons of other stuff because right now that you're the thing that you're having in the beta is around 60 percent what we are have are planning and things that are right now fully playable the rest of the things are still in the works and we just don't want to release like factions that are not fully done so yes full release of the mod is on january Yes, and at the end I would, would like to say thank you for the patrons or for all the support with, uh, in the last months for the feedback because they are helping with the testing and adding new stuff a lot recently. They also have uh, access to all the changes, change logs, everything in advance. And without them we would not be here, <laughs> let's be honest. And the last thing I would like to show all of you a teaser of my fully standalone game that will be also announcement in the new next year the new year of uh, 2023 when it will be announced fully you need to wait but this is the first public teaser of it enjoy <laughs> 